Hi, this is Maya with Rico. Today we're talking about how to create choices. Choices in relativity from a review perspective are what uh, many other platforms call tags. Um, there is no differentiation in relativity between metadata fields and coding fields. Um, they're all actually the same type of object. So as you can see here, we have fields of metadata, and we also have um, our coding fields here. Um, the tags, or what other platforms call tags, are actually called choices in relativity. So here we have our responsiveness field, and the items within it are called choices, responsive, non-responsive, etc. So to create new choices, we navigate into the core reviewer interface. And we find the coding layout that we want to modify. In this case, we'll do the first pass review layout. I'm going to select the blue edit button. And this opens up the coding layout so that we can make decisions and in this case also make new choices. So anytime you want to change choices and you have the administrative permission to do so, you're going to have the blue manage icon here. When we select manage, we get a new window that pops up that allows us to add choices. Um, you can add single choices one at a time and you can add many choices. You can also sort your choices. And in addition to selecting the add choice button, you can actually just click here to add a single choice. So here I've entered my choice. I can either apply or cancel. Cancel will remove the option. So I'll hit apply. Now that the choice is available in this panel, you can click and drag it to move it around and you can sort it with other choices. Since we only have one, I'm just going to select Save and Close. That automatically refreshes your coding layout and now you can see the accounting practices choice is available. Well, let's say that with our legal team, we've actually gone through and built a long list of issues. To get our issues in, quickest, we're going to select the Add Many Choices button. As you can see here, we can copy and paste the choices, and we'll need to place each choice on a separate line. So here I've placed all of my separate choices individually, and you'll also notice some of them have hyphens. Since this is a multi-choice field, I can select multiple values. I can also have nested choices. So as you can see here, we've got um, Voodoo Accounting. We can have sub-choices under Voodoo Accounting, inflating revenue and concealing expenses. So I'm going to hit Apply. And Relativity will interpret those instructions to create your choices. Now that you have your choices, if you made a misspelling maybe, you can click on an item, update it. Always remember to select Apply. You can also click and drag. So um, maybe market to market doesn't belong under there. You could make it um, into another sub item. In this case, I think I'm going to change gap violations to become a sub choice of accounting practices. So now that we've adjusted our choices, I'm going to select save and close. Our coding layout will take a moment to create the choices. You have many, many choices. It will probably take longer than that. But as soon as your coding layout refreshes, you can see all of our choices are available. And if you ever need to make other choices, just select the Manage button, make your adjustments, and save and close. So that's the nuts and bolts of how to add choices. Now, if you need a field a different field than what is already available to track some different items, talk to your case manager. They'll make you a field, and then you can add the choices to that field once it's available in your coding layout. Thanks so much for joining me. Happy reviewing.